thorax and lungs normally will start listening to the back. Go ahead and sit forward for me. So the thorax, you may have a physician, especially in trauma, describe the thorax, which is the chest cavity for symmetry, for how it rises and falls with respirations. If there is a, a bad trauma with multiple rib fractures, um, you could have uh, some abnormalities there. One would be called a flail chest. Flail chest is normally when you breathe out, the whole rib cage collapses, and then when you take a breath in, it expands. But if you have a section of ribs that are broken all around, then when the patient takes a breath in, the large part of the chest is expanding, but that's actually collapsing, and that's called a flail chest. So you may hear that described. Um, otherwise, we'll go ahead and take a listen to the lungs, and we'll describe for you how they sound. Major lung sounds include the following. Normal breath sounds. There's an inspiratory-expiratory ratio, and uh, in a patient with asthma where they have trouble breathing out, and you hear a wheeze, they may describe wheezing, and they may describe an increased expiratory phase. Okay. The opposite of a wheeze is difficulty breathing in. That's an upper airway obstruction, and that sounds more like <gasps> difficulty breathing in, and that's called strider. So in, strider, out, <sighs> wheezing. Uh, the other sounds that you might hear are diminished breath sounds, uh, in an area that maybe has a pneumonia or something. And uh, some physicians may percuss the chest and say that there are areas of dullness to percussion. There are also breath sounds called rowels. That's best simulated by if you take your hair and kind of rub it. That's what rowels sound like. They're usually at the bases, but not necessarily, and they indicate fluid in the lungs in the alveoli. A little bit higher up in the airway, which is the small airways, the bronchioles, and then to a certain extent the bronchi, which are slightly larger than that, you may hear what are called ronchi, R-H-O-N-C-H-I. Not to be confused, some people want to write bronchi, but it's ronchi. So you have rails, you have ronchi, you have wheezes. On occasion, if you listen to an area with uh, consolidation, it's called, or like a pneumonia, you may have what's called egophony, and that's also called E to A change. If your physician has the patient say the, the letter E, E, E over and over and they're listening, if in an area they hear A rather than E, it's an indication of a pneumonia in that area. And there's some other breath sounds too, but those are the main ones that you'll hear over and over.